Hey YouTube, I'm gonna make a basic oil change on a 2010 Honda Odyssey. And what we're gonna change the oil with is a Babylon high mileage 5W30. And the W states, stands for weight. Uh, and we're gonna use a Fram Tough Guard. And I, leave, I love these because they have this grip right here. And it's just amazing. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do this uh, oil change real quick on this 2010 Honda Odyssey. Just cleaned up my engine bay. As you can see, it looks really nice and shiny. So now we're gonna do the oil change on it. First thing you wanna do is lift the car up. You wanna put the jack in the appropriate place to jack it up. On this 2010 Honda Odyssey, it has a jack point right there. So that's where we're gonna go ahead and lift the jack at. And lift all the way up. So now we're just gonna start to jack the car up. All right, just give it enough clearance for you to fit down there. And the next thing you wanna do is secure it with jack stands. All right, we're just gonna put our jack stand right underneath the frame just lift, lift it up to level that should be good right there and now we're ready to do our oil change all right next thing you want to do is remove the oil cap that way everything drains out fast next you want to do is line up your oil drip pan right underneath the oil bolt of the engine we have our little friend right here. What's up, boy? All right, see you later. All right, the next thing you wanna do is take off your oil plug. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen that up. All right, after you break it loose, all you wanna do is just go ahead and unscrew it out of there. I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew all of this out. All right, after a while, you should be able to just remove it out with your hand. You wanna be careful, because it is super hot, depending if you just turned off your car or not. And this point, it's excruciating hot. Yeah, boy. So now you just let that drain into your drip pan. And as always, make sure you put your screw in a safe location. That way when it finishes dripping, like it almost is right here, you're able to plug it back in. All right, next step you wanna do is remove the oil filter. And this is why I love these uh, Fram guards and all you got to do is just line up your drip pan right under, underneath this just like so and unscrew all of it off go ahead and just drain it in there gosh that's hot whoops there it goes Go ahead and fish it out. <laughs> Make sure your seal is on there. The seal is on there, good. So now, you just sit it up there and we're ready to insert the new one. All right, so now we grab our new one and we insert it back in here. Oh, and before you do that, what I like to do is just rub my finger, how my finger is full of oil, just Rub the whole seal with it. That way it gets a nice good seal on here. All right, and there it is. Now what you could do is just grab a rag and dry all that oil up if you wanted to be clean, but it's okay. It ain't gonna matter. 
All right, next thing you want to do is replace your oil cap right in here. Just like so. We're going to screw that all the way in. You take note, your hands will get dirty. <laughs> All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and just snug that tight. All right, and you just wanna snug it, not too tight. You don't wanna strip that, because if you strip that, you might have to replace the whole oil pan. And um, <clears throat> I don't know if you could see where it's at. <laughs> Good luck. All right, now we're gonna remove our oil pan and lower the car down and fill it up with oil. All right, so the next thing you want to do is just remove the jack stand. Lower the car down, <laughs> nice and slow. You should do this with two hands, uh, but I didn't. <gasps> All right, and what I always do is keep a little funnel here with me and a little rag. That way, uh, if I need to check the oil or add oil, I always have this with me. Uh, and like I said, I just cleaned up my engine bay. As you can tell, it looks nice and shiny. Let me show you the uh, before and after. So all I did was just uh, wash it down with a little bit of uh, water, soap, and a brush. Blew everything clear. Sprayed some Armor All. Wiped it down. And this is how it looks. Maybe I'll make a video of how I do that. <laughs> I should have made it when I was doing it. But anyways, this video is about oil change. So this is pretty filthy, so we're gonna go ahead and just clean it off. All right, I went ahead and washed it out with soap and water. And all we do is just sit it in here. Just like so. Give us a nice good clearance, and then we'll just add the oil. Oh yeah, it's just like that. See, that's what happens when I'm trying to mess with the damn camera. Alrighty then. So I made a mess trying to record everything. We're just gonna stick this back in here. Just let everything just drip in there. It don't matter. And we got a little mess there. So alright, that's why we got this little rag. Simply just wipe it down. That's what that rag's there for. Alright, now we're gonna put the oil cap back on. Check our dipstick. All right, it's nice and full. Nice and honey-like, because it's nice and clean. Now what we're gonna do is clear up the code on the van. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna put your car into accessories, which is not the first, but the second notch on the key rest in peace my nephew just passed away I love you my nigga 
So anyways, the way you reset this, if your engine oil life comes up, and after you do the oil change, don't do this if you don't do the oil change. You gotta change the oil first. So after the, you do the oil change, what you gotta do is press the reset button for 10 seconds. We're gonna wait the 10 seconds. And it's gonna start to flash. All right, so after it starts to flash, what you're gonna do is hold it down for another five seconds. Additional five. One, two, three, four, five. And it's reset. So now if you scroll through the little menu, it gives you your trip A, trip B, your temperature outside. The next one is gonna be your oil life. Your oil life is back to 100. So that's how you do a complete oil change in a 2010 Honda Odyssey. And reset the oil life. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. Alright, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.